SpaceX launched its ninth test flight of the Starship rocket, marking another ambitious attempt to refine the world's most powerful and reusable spacecraft. This flight was particularly significant as it featured the first ever reuse of a super heavy booster, a major milestone in the goal of making space travel more cost effective and sustainable. The Starship Flight 9 mission lifted off from its launch site. The two-stage rocket successfully separated with the upper stage reaching space, an improvement over previous flights. The mission aimed to test the reusability of the Super Heavy booster, deploy simulated Starlink satellites, and conduct a controlled re-entry and splashdown. Despite reaching space, the mission faced critical failures. The Super Heavy booster suffered a catastrophic failure during its landing burn, preventing a controlled splashdown. A propellant leak caused the spacecraft to spin uncontrollably, leading to a loss of communication and an unscheduled disassembly during re-entry. Additionally, a door malfunction prevented the planned release of simulated Starlink satellites. SpaceX acknowledged the progress made despite the setbacks, stating that the company gathered valuable data to improve future flights. The next three Starship test launches are expected to occur regularly, with further refinements to hardware and flight procedures. While Flight 9 did not achieve all its objectives, it demonstrated incremental progress in the pursuit of a fully reusable spacecraft. The company remains committed to overcoming technical challenges, paving the way for human missions to the Moon and Mars in the near future. Ignited for our landing burn. During re-entry, we do expect the vehicle to see about 1,400 degrees Celsius, and there you can see the 